Okay. I'm, I'm not sure if I, I really understand the question. So for the next eight weeks, you're going to make your technical like how-to guides with coding. And then once a week, you'll also explain something that you've learned in like a self-improvement book. No, usually people who think in, in like this much of a plan, usually they don't get very successful. I just say that brutally. When someone tells me a plan like this concise, I've never seen someone's plan work the way that they expected it to. And so when someone has a full plan and they tell me what they're going to do for the next four months and this and this and this, maybe if, if the guy's already a millionaire, he's got, you know, track record. Okay, fine. But when it's a, like a normal guy who hasn't become ultra successful and he tells me what he expects to happen with his like business plan or something like this for the next few weeks or months or years, I, uh, I can't help but almost like no offense, but it was a little bit of respect for them. Cause I just think like, how many hours did you spend on this instead of just doing the work? Like it, it'll never like set the goal. The goal is for example, 5,000 subscribers, um, you know, six months from now or whatever it is. But then after that, it's kind of like my plan is, is for the next week. And the idea is if it works, then we'll, we'll make it longer term, then longer term, then longer term to have a full formal plan to begin with always seems very foolish to me because you don't know if it's going to work anyway. So to think eight weeks deep, it's just kind of like, that's just weird. Go and do the first five videos first. Let's see if this works. And then let's talk about the next week after that. You might just have a few like videos that literally just don't perform well at all. Then it's like, okay, the entire plan's wasted. I always tell this story. I have a friend from, um, from university and both of us graduated. Both of us wanted to be entrepreneurs. I, I'm very fast. I'm like a speedboat. If I wanted to change directions and realize, okay, this thing, this thing, this thing, boom, boom, fast, 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 fast. That's why I'm here today. I guarantee that's why I'm here today. If, if I had an idea, my idea would literally be in front of people within the next hour. Like if I thought about this YouTube video I could do, the YouTube video would be uploaded within the same hour. If I had a product that I could release, the product would be released within the same week or something. That was it. I'd be fast. My friend on the other hand was, I believe, similar to you. He would write a business plan, like a formal word spread um, document and everything for his plan. I don't believe he, he achieved any real level of success. Now, you know, it's, it's horrible saying that about like a friend or anything. I, I wish him well, but it's just, it really did teach me that at the beginning stages, you should be fast, like a speedboat. If you're not making, let's say, at least maybe 500 K a year, half a million per year, which pretty much no one in this call is, you should be, you should see yourself like a speedboat. If you're thinking like a one month ahead and you're thinking about, yeah, that's the video I'll do then and I'll do this and I'll do this. It's like, it's just foolish. In my opinion, you should make like a great video this week. You should know what book you're going to read today. Trying to think that far into the future, in my opinion, it is more of this, like, um, like, I don't know how to explain it in a nice way, but it's, it's kind of like you're keeping yourself in safety instead of doing the work and just putting the offer out there. You're keeping yourself in safety. There's a video of the guy pretty much, he was like a drop shipper and he explained that what made the difference between him going from like, you know, no money at all to good money, which he said good money was a hundred K a month. He said the difference was that he, the whole point was to just put offers in front of people as fast as possible. He said he was doing all this busy work. He was making the logo. He was writing these plans. He was reading books and everything, but he was making absolutely no money up until he started to put the offer in front of people. As a YouTuber, that means you put the video out there. The longer you spend per video thinking about this great plan, this series that you're going to do, this plan for like six months from now, the more that I know that you're most likely not going to get the success that you want. Now, if you are a few million subscribers, if you're Mr. Beast, sure, think six months ahead, but you're not. Right now, it doesn't even matter. You don't know enough to be thinking months into the future. Like you're like, you know, no one here should be thinking more than literally a few days into the future of their business right now. Unless if there is anyone here who's already making like 10 to 100K per month. And, um, and even then it's, you still can't speculate what will happen in a few months. If you can go and get into fucking investing and you'll make a lot more money than you will as a YouTuber, if you can speculate that well, but you can't. And so speculate what you, what would be great for you to do today, what has already worked for your YouTube channel, and then start to make the kind of videos that will perform there. I think it, this is more overthinking than anything else. Apologies, harsh there. I just think it's very important, man. This is just naturally one trait that I've had, which has been very profitable for me. It's just acting fast and, and scrappy like a speedboat. And I really wish more like, like new entrepreneurs learned uh, from that.